Well, I am now gonna finally play Discworld 1. I've... I've honestly, in the... I've had this game since the 90s. <laughs> one of the first... One of, like, maybe the first five PlayStation games I ever bought. Um... You know, walking around a die-hard game store somewhere in a place that I've mentioned before. I was looking at it, and I was like, mm, this kind of like Maniac Mansion, and I thought it was good, but I didn't really care playing, playing it with a controller. It didn't seem quite right. And I just kind of reading through it, and it's like, uh, oh, Eric Idle? Ba weep grana weep ninny bong. Oh yeah, gotta get it, and I pretty much enjoyed it. Tough tough to play with a controller. And it also got me into Terry Pratchett's books, and I've read all of them up to I think I have one of them on my shelf still somewhere. I don't see it. But I the last really book I read was was the one about the newspaper reporter. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be playing the uh, DOS version as a CD DOS version on Scum VM with the upgraded music patch. Let's see. You can't see it. I'm not playing up there. I got to go find it. Okay, I'm already in the Scum VM folder. I'm just trying to remember Discworld 1 CD DOS. There's a couple of. I think, uh, let me back up a little bit here as a CD DOS version 2. Does it have. Oh, okay, the D CD DOS version 2 has the upgraded music files in it. That's how I should be able to play one of them. It's a little loud in my ears. Get the music down too low, and my voice and stuff like that. My voice over. Yeah, I I'd have to go look this up and see if it's even still available. Hopefully it is. But the uh, the original DOS tracks just don't sound good at all. Uh, that's just being honest. That's what have been one of my great gripe about DOS games: sound and music just not sounding good at all. So I'll go with. That day of the tentacle, I've always wanted to play through it. All right. Graphics. Saders to be none. Um, some of these I'll have to adjust right when I get into the game. All right. Ah, oh, there it goes. Now it's picking it up. Oh, that is not supposed to be there like that. Yep. There's a... Well, let's see. Stopped. Oh, I'll give it. There. <laughs> Game 2 where it 
The uh, opening theme song is the ending theme song. Throwing books from the far, Terry Pratchett. Okay. Game control. I don't need swap mouse buttons. Subtitles. I want them displayed right away. I've actually, um, posted this opening thing on several YouTube channels. But this time I'm actually doing it in Siri for real. Alright. In a second-hand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. Some, the darkest did this. Ank Morpork, a sinister plot, is about to unfold. It's a foul plot to put, not mine, feet. I just washed them. You know, this was synchronized with the PlayStation. Well, this is loud up there on the computer. Out of my ears and loud on the meter. Put in the green zone. It's Ricky Steamboat! I'll see you again next week for my usual special. Don't oh, take the color yarn right there over the side. What best to wash out a Technicolor yarn? Here in the dog. See you soon. <laughs> Really unintended humor by death. Leave me alone! Damnation if you don't clear out, so help me, I'm out. Oh, just bugger off! You're off, you bug. <clears throat> That's better. It's on nights like this I could just murder a good curry. Up. Who's there? <laughs> hands. Would you mind putting your hands up? Why? What's happening? It's a simple courtesy. I say, put your hands up. And you, put your hands up. What did you say? <laughs> it's I don't traditional. Think there's a hands up a well established ritual of your actual mugger and victim relationship. You being the victim, and me being the aforementioned mugger. Now, please. Put your hands up. Hold on to you, what's the names? I haven't got all night, you know. Just do it, all right? Okay. Okay. I don't know what this town is coming to. A man can't even have a quiet drink in peace. <laughs> now, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now, if you'll just... Oh, bugger. <laughs> Unseen University, the home of the greatest wizards on the Discworld, and one or two of the worst. Now, listen carefully. With all these rumors of a dragon... But, sir, dragons don't exist. At least, not unless people believe in them. Uh, quite, quite. 
Nevertheless, with all these rumors of a dragon on the rampage, the wizards of Unseen University must fulfill their civic responsibility. We must seek out this dragon and destroy it. Yes, but how? Who? Leave the how up to me. As for the who, well, I know of the ideal person. Why don't you go and fetch Rincewind for me? Yeah, the one time he gets the name right. Make sure we get use out of that animation. I wanted to see you. I'm used to the Desperate 2 controls, sort of. Let's see. I... No, I can't shift it. A snoring chest? That's novel. Well, I'll soon fix that. Well, the, um... But first, I'll save this game. Um, I do plan on playing this for Odyssey, but I'm not too sure I'm gonna get around to it. This sodding thing hasn't got a doorknob. Forgot, uh, sound control. Music volume down and made the voice volume up a little bit. That doesn't. I think that's like one of the big improvements in the second game. Double clicking rinse win with an item or the luggage and. And I get another improvement too, where I can just double click on a doorway or an arrow tech point somewhere and just automatically go in. That's when you actually have to walk to it constantly. I uh, don't need to go in the dining hall just yet because I still gotta talk to the Arch Chancellor. I need to get the luggage. What happens if I talk to the Arch Chancellor about the luggage? I don't think I've only ever done once. Ah, if it isn't young Breakwind. Rincewind, sir. Rincewind, quiet. Come in. We need to talk. That is, I need to talk, and you listen. No doubt you've been hearing all sorts of rumors about this dragon that supposedly is terrorizing the town. Uh, d uh d dragon? As in the uh, classic... It's got like the light blue text again. Shut up! Yes, pretty much. Scaly, vain, like shiny objects, that species of kidney. And what we need to do is to ensure that the Unseen University is properly represented in the attempt to dispose of it. If some yokel simply slays the wretched thing without our help, the people will begin to ask just what wizards are for. Actually, sir, what are wizards for? Wizards are firmly behind big dinners. And if you want to keep on eating yours, you'll go and see about this dragon. Surely, sir, dragons don't logically exist. Shut up! Dragons exist if you believe in them. And the average man in the street does believe in them. Or at least point. believes in them enough to give us big rewards if they think we've gotten rid of the thing. Do you follow me? Not really. Shut up! Not interested in excuses. 
Too much sloppy thinking around here. Run down to the library and fetch me a copy of Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Lairs. Once we've read that, we'll know how to track the scaly blighter down. You still here? Standing around like something unhygienic? Do it now! Yeah, the idle animation in the PlayStation version was fixed. He'll actually stand still while people are talking instead of going into his, like, little... run time... run times. I definitely I still have to go get the, uh, luggage. There's, like, a lot of good talking going on in here, and there's stuff down there I need to get. Oh, no, no, no. I think this one leads to the Arch Chancellor. Weird. I don't think there's me. I don't. I gotta. F I think if the if the uh, matches are in here. Let's see. Smooth, irregular. Smells of paraffin. I wonder what it could be. Yeah. Maybe back in the day, people actually taught, were taught that paraffin was used in, in candles and lights and stuff. I keep thinking there's supposed to be matches around here somewhere. in this game you have to talk to everybody to get clues as to what to do yeah I played this section a lot that broom is longer than one swim's arm. If you're a good boy, I'll get you some nice mothballs for your tea. I don't think there was anything in Rinson's room I needed to get. Yeah, what are wizards for? Big dinners. Hey, I I'll join the wizard party. I'm for big dinners too. Actually, one of my more favorite songs of the game. Uh, I think I'm supposed to have, take the, give him the broom. I'm gonna need that gong that at some point in time. Like, those guys don't have names in this game. I think the one in the wheelchair is supposed to be Wendell Poons. The trick to, I have to get that pan at some point, and to do that, I'm going to need the ladder and the net. Uh, later on, if when I use the banana, another one will appear here. Try and cut back on the all the talking. Um, not just mine, but all of Rince Wins. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium of Dragon's Layers? <laughs> I see. <laughs> yes. Me. Uh, yes. I suppose so. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Quite. Look, is there someone else here that I can speak to? Ooh. Well, you know, someone who isn't a monkey. <laughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cot? Ooh. Ooh. 
No, I'll come back and get a book later. Walk! Walk, walk! Yes, I've given up. No, no not gibbon, monkey. Ape! Oh, oh, damn! Did you get the number of that donkey cot? This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Excuse me, my dear sir. Could you get me a tome called Featherwinkle's Concise Compendium? Later on, of I gotta give him a very special banana in order for him to open up L space. <laughs> in just this one area. That doesn't work. Yes, well, art criticism was never a strong point of the University Trust. This one is pretty funny here. Oh, it's him. We didn't luggage to show up. Excellent. Good lad, Breakwind. Rinse, Windsor. Ah, we now have the formula to construct Reculamento's never-failing Dragon's Lair revealer. With the device in our hands, we'll be able to track the creature and trap it like a wildebeest. You mean like a rat, sir? Really? Well, could be. Well, that'd be easier, certainly. You've got a good, firm grasp of facts. I like that in a wizard. Go forth and fetch the elements we need to construct this device. I'll see that your performance is brought to the attention of the University Board when we review your grant next year. Uh, we may only halve it, for example. <laughs> Sir, have I ever told you of my ambition to be a yak? It can be arranged, Rincewind. Just ask the librarian. Now, gonna move on. We need a staff of tumultuous termatogy, a spiral of never failing induction, a miniature creature of excitable chitters, and a container made of the strongest ferrous metal. Oh, is that all? Uh, well, uh, a sample of breath from the subject in question is necessary. Dragon's breath? Yes. Any problems with that? No? Good. Well, don't just stand there. Off you go. I played Act One quite a bit back twenty years ago. So I, I got even even to this day, I still have much of it memorized. Amazingly, I oh. can memorize that stuff. Well, this one's not a statue. I think this one used to be a frog out in the garden. Ah, well, he never should have asked to be turned into a handsome plinth. <laughs> I had to look that up. I know. Back when I originally played this game, I actually had, used to have these things called dictionaries. You just couldn't Google. What's this then? Prunes, finest quality, extra dark old bowel buster. Yuck. Now, I remember a video of the most unfair moments in 90s video games or something like that. I keep thinking it was like Angry Video Game Nerd that did it. And there's a scene later on that involves these prunes. And this is kind of a hint here. Like, get this. How do you open the gate? I do it. They've changed the wasp names. The hand wriggles. It's a whole new spell. So show me the new spell. Can't. The spell's a secret. Nice weather. Since classes in wind whistling, rain making and lightning throwing are all scheduled for today, I think that's being a wee bit premature. Winston's hat in here is a lot different. Well, can like various. So, 
This is it. You just so you just say it's kind of straight day, from getting being a wage for eating prunes. Whereas Certainly. in the Someone's second game, it, it fucks back. Job. Go ahead. We never. Oh yeah, there's like one of those. It's like an a episode of Rusty please. Ranger, yeah. that real plum yeah, episode. Yeah, right. Look, you just wiggle it. It had like, like an, an adult poop joke in it. Like you know, was eating prunes, plop prunes, and prunes. I need prunes right now. Oh, poor old guy. <laughs> Yes, almost. Now try it like that. Like this. Right you are, son. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'd like a nice lie down. But what about the gate? Aren't you going to guard it? Oh, who gives them monkeys? <coughs> Did you get the number of that donkey cart? Well, I'll catch you later then. Some of these come out pretty loud. Ugh, there's, there's luggage. Maybe that's one of the problems with it. Move it up here for a while. I need a knife. Bisected by the river Ankh, the city of ankh Morpork is the oldest existing city on the Discworld. It is really two cities, proud Ankh, turnwise of the river, and pestilent Morpork on the Widdishin side. Although the pestilence is quite democratic and in fact covers most of the city, it is said that all roads lead to ankh Morpork. But this is in fact incorrect. The truth is that all roads lead away from ankh Morpork. character right there, I believe, is two flowers from the first book. Actually, I think, um, the first two books are one story, if I remember correctly. And he is supposed to be from the continent of, um, the same one as the guy from Discworld Noir. I forgot his name. And he knows he really does. <laughs> they give him a British accent in this one. This is Square Palace. Um, I think because there's stuff in that closet I still need to get. I don't know if I can get in that. I don't really think I really need to talk to him. matches are in here but I may be confusing that with the next game if you do some oh there it is ah oh, matches actually I thought all wizards were supposed to blow smoke rings or something I really must consult that script sometime oi those are complimentary those are huh? so why can't I take one well you have to compliment the bar on its drinks first oh I haven't had anything to drink that's all right what are you having Busy night? No, not particularly. Why? Just wondering. What is there to drink? Well, it's all a matter of suiting the clientele, friend. What do you think the sort of person who frequently frequents this bar would like to have for his drinkies? What'll it be? Hmm. Is this one of those tough, brutal bars? Yeah. Not through actual planning, mind. I mean, it just sort of develops. Then I'll have the usual. Uh, a glass of gin served at room temperature with a human air in it, please. Ah, yeah. I've just checked, and uh, we're all out of gin. Hmm. Whiskey? Um, no. Rice wine? Perno? Absinthe? Scumble? No. Old bow bender stout? I think it's off, sir. Off? How can stout go off? It kills bacteria. You can clean privies with it. Well, it's more sort of uh, settled, sir. All the black colouring sort of swimming round the bottom. Same things happen to the elderberry wine. Well, I say the same thing, but it's more like lumpy. <laughs> it's probably all right, though. Ah, thank you. So what have you got that hasn't got lumps in it? Oh, 
Tons of stuff. Incidentally, sir, I don't know if you've noticed that rather impromptu pun there. <laughs> rather good, I thought. It could have meant tons, T-U-N-S, type of barrel, or, or tons, T-O-N-S, in its colloquial usage meaning lots. Yeah, 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 very, very good, yeah. So, you got lots then? Uh, well, no, not really. <laughs> so, is there anything here to drink today? Well, yes, sir. It is a bar. I mean, not much use having a bar if there's no actual beer being served here. Today, we have beer actually on tap. That doesn't smell like beer. That smells like Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's very similar to beer, sir. Similar? It's one of the most deadly prescription medicines ever devised by man. How can it possibly be similar? Well, it is a liquid, sir. Well, I'm not touching it. I'll just <laughs> have a glass of water, please. What? As in water taken from the River Ank? Whew, you're braver than I thought. Ah. Oh. I see your point. Well, give us a Zynemouth's Lacantar Splenetic Emollient, then, please. Guess I can have the, uh... We've been eating that frog for quite a while. Forced conversation. I need to talk to him a lot later. Really, a lot of conversation in here goes on telling about what happened the previous night. As to why these guys are all beat up and bruised. Um. Excuse me. <laughs> Ow! Ow! What was that for? Sorry. I think maybe you say, I want fight. Well, I bloody well didn't. That's the trouble with you people. You always think might makes right. <sighs> oh, sorry. We think you say fight again. Yes, yes. This is getting to be fairly typical, isn't it? Thank you. I'm just going to stand over there. Don't choke horribly to death on your beers or anything. Finish oh. up this conversation. You'll be then. this bar's resident psychotic maniacs then. Yeah. It's manic barbarian gut squishers. We here to squish some guts. Maybe we squish your guts if you want. Just a little. Just for fun. Oh, oh, you want fight? Uh, no. Uh, no, 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 no need to trouble. I think maybe we kill him a little bit. Then drink some beer and finish him later. Later is no good. Want fight now. If we ask him nice, maybe he put the glass upside down on bar and ask for his guts to be squished? You want maybe to have doing a it now, so I don't have to guts? do it later. No, no, look, actually, I'm pretty much booked up at the moment. Still, uh, we'll see what we can do for you later, OK? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll catch you later, further. then. All right. Um, like I said, I discovered this game for the PlayStation. Uh, walking around Die Hard Game Club. And, you know, uh, maybe this is kind of like Maniac Mansion, but I, mm, I don't want to spend, like, $35. Or was it? I forget how much it was. It was used, so probably wasn't that much. But uh, I was reading the back. Oh, Eric Idle. <laughs> I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. Yep, so that's what convinced me to go ahead and give it a try, and I enjoyed it and got into all the books. Yes. Yeah, 